Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my channel Netflix. In today's video, I'm going to tell you how to create, uh, how to embed a Google font in your uh, like project. We, uh, we, need, uh, we know that in CSS, there are some limited fonts that you can use in your uh, design or uh, most of the time you are using font family as ADL or Times New Roman. But there are certain fonts that are that can be used or that can be embedded into your uh, website so that your website should look impressive. So in that part, uh, we have a Google fonts and also you have seen in most of the websites that uh, there are some icons, the camera icon, the Facebook icon, the Twitter icon. So to that part, we call as font awesome. So font awesome icons, uh, I'm going to tell you in this video how to embed a Google fonts and how to embed font awesome icons in your uh, like projects. So starting with the Google fonts, uh, what you need to search is uh, you need to go through your browser and you have to go for Google and you have to check here as Google fonts. So Google fonts, uh, now I'm going to click here uh, fonts.google.com. So uh, the, the website is being opened and here you are being presented with multiple number of forms fonts that can be used in this you can get both type of fonts the paid fonts and the free to use fonts for example uh, this is the font I need to embed into my database into my website so I am ju just going to click this font and in the right side uh, there is select this style so if I'm going to click on select this style uh, here, uh, the like uh, the name of that font is been available, and how to use that font uh, that is going to uh, like specified over here. Use on the web. So this is the link, and this is the import file. I'm going to check out the link part. So I'm just copying this link, and I'm going I'm just going to paste this link over here. So this is the link to my. Uh, this file of Google font it's a dynamic link and I'm going to create a uh, so this link has been created so I'm going to like create a style file uh, the Photoshop has been open so style file I'm going to create my font uh, like fo and in this fo I need to copy this font family as Zen dots cursive. So I'm going to copy this font family Zen dot cursive, and uh, I will create a div class. Uh, to this div, I will be assigning my class as fo, and I can write here the text. The text that will embed the Google font. So if I'm going to run this. Uh, this I have been saved in documents folders or documents and Google fonts So in this way you can just see uh, the same font that has been written over here the same font that has been right now like uh, is there on my screen I can just like You can just uh, change its font size is 38 pixels So this is a Google font that is to be that is you can embed into your website through this file so I'm just repeating that uh, you have to just pick up a link of from here link relation pre-connect uh, the link file you need to uh, check from here and uh, in the style tag uh, you need to create a class and in that class you have to create a font family with Zen dots and the cursive and the font size it should be at 38 pixel so you have to create a div you have to embed a class fo in that division and uh, and whatever you are writing over here that will be embedded in your website so this was all, all about your google font so moving to the font awesome if you are going to create if you are going to like uh, we need to google.com and in this i am going to uh, write as font awesome and fontawesome.com will be opened and if you if you are going to check its home page there are multiple number of icons that you can like uh, you can choose from like start from free so 
you can just check icons uh, in the icons file uh, there is n number of icons uh, you can just check upon for example we are going to embed this icon the address card i need to embed so i need to click on this uh, after clicking on this uh, you will be presented with your uh, this uh, a web page and in this web page uh, there is a two method you need to start using this you need to click on a start using this icon and uh, you need to just copy this uh, I have just copied and I need to paste it in my file so I can just put a break tag and I plus FAS FA address card if I'm going to refresh this it will not be embedded why because font awesome need a file uh, a file that is used to embed along with this icon so for that i need a file link so in google i will be searching as font awesome cdn so there are uh, many websites that that uh, like have the cdn facility means you can create a direct link to a uh, a website uh, which will be save which will be holding a, a file like if you want to embed a jquery you need a file uh, called jquery.js that uh, by implementing that file then only you can run your jquery so in order to display this icon i need a, a file that need to be embedded so i am just copying this ctn is the file that has been present over here uh, it's a font awesome file so the font awesome file okay so i'm just going to uh, copy link tag and copy link tag i'm going to paste it over here so if i'm going to paste it over here link relation style sheet it has a reference to my cloudflare is a free website hosting cdn uh, lips font awesome so font awesome library has been embedded into my uh, this file google fonts.html and now I have written I class fast address. So if I'm going to refresh this, the address icon is being displayed in front of me. So you can pick up now any icon from here. Like if I if I want this something rather than address card, I can just like uh, put here. Uh, you can say a hand symbol or a truck symbol. Uh, not uh, it's ambulance symbol. Okay, so I need to put ten ambulance. Uh, let's let's have uh, some other icon. Huh? Uh, you can say an apple. Apple looks great. So I need to copy this. Copy HTML. So I need to uh, to just now copy paste this one over here. And the link is same for all icons which I have been put on earlier. And if I'm going to refresh this, the Apple icon appears in front of me. So this way you can embed uh, the Google Fonts and the Font Awesome library into your uh, HTML and CSS file. And most of the time, the Facebook, Twitter, Google, and all are, are like uh, the, these icons are only uh, like picked from this font I awesome library. So I hope you like this video. If you like this video, you just subscribe to my channel for all uh, for having all the tutorials of programming. Uh, and uh, programming tutorials and if you like my video do like and share my videos thanks for watching my video and have a good night stream